After seeing a robotic system in operation, we noticed how different and contented the cows were, and it's a system that we believed would really suit the higher, high producing cows. After originally being in a rotary system, and the shed getting a little bit older, we believed this was the way of the future, and in the way of the style of farming we wanted to pursue. The system definitely allows the cows to be far more individualistic, and the cows are far more contented being a New Zealand system, we still wanted to incorporate grazing outside um, and still having a free stall barn for the winter and the wetter shoulders of the season to avoid the pasture damage outside. So the challenge then was to develop or design a barn that could handle both systems um, and in the end up we came up with this hybrid system. So here we are at the barn where the cows enter a barn from the paddocks. Um, so you can see the cows here walking in through the Texas gates. And they've got to walk in through here, down the side through this next grazeway drafting gate. And they've got to walk into the back of the barn, into what we call the pre-milk area, where they've got access to baleage and water, and they can wait there till they turn to a robot, when, where they'll get milked. Now in the office we have the camera set up, so we can have an overview of the, of the shed. Um, and then here you can see the cows coming in from outside. And they walk around the side here with these, like these two here, where they come into the pre-milk area. So the cows will wait here till they have their turn to go through the robots to be milked. Following there, they can go out to the pre-milk area here. And there's two back scratches here that they like to have their backs rubbed with. Following that, they go out through the grazeway out here through four different laneway access, access outside where they go out to a fresh break of grass. This is an old photo of our farm. Um, as you see now, this is where our new barn is situated. Now the farm is basically set up into four blocks. Basically one here, one here, one here, and one here. Now how the grazing system works is the gates change here in the shed roughly every six hours, and the cows go out to a fresh break. So if the cows are coming in from, say, this block here into the barn, they'll come into the barn to be milked, and they'll always wander out to a new break. Now we're in the hybrid barn. Um, the cows generally come in here late autumn. It's about the um, end of April for us. So they'll come in here during the nights where they get fed baleage down the sides. And then they still have free access back to the robots through those 123 Texas gates and those gates in between can also lift off to give complete free access to the robots. The main reason we use this barn is to protect the pastures outside to avoid pugging and also to give the cows a dry bed at night. Once we get further into winter, in June and July, with conditions being a lot wetter and colder, the cows can stay in here 24 hours a day. This shed has 360 stalls, which is more than enough to hold all our cows. The Lely Centre have been brilliant here to work with. Um, their installation has been excellent. Upon start-up, we had someone here 24 hours a day to help back us up with all the technology side of things and the computer side. And once we were confident of being left on our own, um, but always been on the end of the phone, as most issues were easily answered over the phone. So, um, no, they've been brilliant to work with. Um, most of the cows, when we first put them through the robots once, three quarters of them we never saw again. So it shows you just how quickly the cows adapt to this system. Um, far quicker than what the actual farmer does. <laughs> um, so the remaining cows, when we first started up, um, generally two or three days most of the cows had it. Um, and then we actually found the last group that were staying behind were actually waiting behind for us. So as soon as we walked away from the shed and left them to it, the cows went through by themselves. So the more you actually prepare to step back, let the cows do their own thing, the better the cows flow. After one and a half years, our experience has been brilliant. The cows have trained far better and quicker than we thought. And they're now freely roaming around the farm as they please. Um, and the system, well, the cows have become virtually a completely different animal. They're far more contented and relaxed. 
and basically stress free which has given us huge um, benefits in both production and in health traits in the cows. The cows only hold in the production a lot longer, they peak a lot longer um, and through the lack of stress um, we've eliminated lamb feet because the cows are wandering in and out as they feel like it. Our fertility has increased, its conception rate and submission rate has also increased and we've also seen significant benefits in cell count and mastitis as well, reduction in those. Our peak this year has been a little over 42 litres average for our spring calves. In the past our peak's been around 37, 38. So we're already seeing about an extra four to five litres extra peak. With the Lely Astronaut milkers, um, our cows are now fed due to the production. So it's um, performance based if you like. So our big milking cows are getting more compared to the rest. Um, and that's definitely seeing a big benefit for those big milking cows and now being fed with the extra grain that they actually require to keep them going. There's, yeah, you can get significantly more information out of the system. Um, now with these robots we can not only just get the production out of them, being milk, fat and protein, we're now getting cell counts at each, each individual quarter of each cow. So we can actually detect mastitis a lot quicker and know actually which quarter it's coming from. So we can actually treat that a lot quicker. Um, on top of that, the cows stand on scales, so we know the cows weight. So therefore if there's any health issues, one of the first issues is that they lose weight. And therefore that comes out, sends out an alarm. Um, and we can find those cows a lot quicker as well. There are significant extra production benefits out of a system like this for, as, as payback. Um, they alone the extra benefits for the cow itself. So if with the New Zealand system, with all, a lot of the walking that the cows do, we can eliminate a lot of that through the cows walking in and out by themselves, taking that pressure off them. So we only had about two lame feet last year, whereas a lot of people will have about 10% lame feet. Um, so there's a lot of production benefits and animal health benefits um, that will definitely help pay the shed off. Coupled with that, there's also reduces your reliance on staff um, and it gives you a much greater lifestyle as well. So it's, it combines a lot of issues into one which is, makes it a lot more of an enjoyable environment here.